This is where we've placed our people. Mr. Wu will continue to send more people and more money. We'll likely add 30% more. It's a good plan. Everything's in order. The major intersections are all covered. Thank you for all the hard work. <sighs> Thank you, Your Highness. The kerosene could be a problem. We should plan carefully. Oh, don't worry about it. I have a kerosene store under my name. It's going to be a good cover. Mm, that's very good, then. You should get back to work. The royals, the nobles, the officials are all interconnected. The situation is very chaotic. The path out of Chang'an will be rocky. Everything is ready now. We wait for the right time to set the plan in motion. Even if it takes blood to escort you out, the volunteer soldiers won't even falter. What matters is you can sneak out of Chang'an and safely arrive in Northern Yan. I haven't visited lately. You look disheartened. My family has suffered. I am unable to sleep well. It's already happened. I hope that you can take good care of yourself. I lost my birth mother at a young age. It was you who raised me. You're like a real mother to me. And Lord Wei, I consider him like my uncle. That's why father didn't allow you and Ye to tell me all about it. Had I known about it earlier, maybe things could have been different. The truth is he brought that on himself. There's no one else to blame. It's lucky that you and Ye was able to save Ye. Otherwise, the Wei Clan would have ended with him. And I'm thankful for that, Mother. I've heard that the Prince of Liang will come visit us soon. Father told me he wants Chen to marry him. Yes. And I am worried about that matter, too. I've heard from sources that this prince is a notorious womanizer. If Chen decides to marry him, I'm afraid that she's bound to suffer. I'm not going to allow my daughter to marry someone from Liang. Do you have a solution in mind? you to come here because I want your opinion I want you to be honest of course please tell me about it I want you on Chin to marry before he comes <laughs> tell me mother do you have a candidate in mind your highness Hold it tight be careful with your hands mother told me that girls should learn different kinds of skills there. How is that? You have quick hands, Your Highness. <laughs> mm, indeed. Obviously, she does. Uh, you're here. Yes, Chen? <laughs> Brother, you're usually too busy to visit. Have you come here to visit Mother? That's right. Why didn't you come by to visit me? Because I know you're a busy girl. I didn't want to disturb you. But I'm not busy at all. I spend my days walking in the garden, doing needlework and other things. <laughs> Look, Chen, I can promise you that you'll get busy soon enough. Don't worry about that. Uh, really? What would I be busy with? Your wedding, of course. Chun, you're a big girl now. You should get married. Enough of that. You're making fun of me. I'm not making fun of you. Grown-ups get married and start their own families. It's only natural. Besides, when I was about your age, my son could already stand up and walk. But who do you think would even like me, brother? Who would want to marry me? You're a beautiful girl, you know that. I'm sure there'll be princes who'd want to marry you. Hey, brother. By the way, did Mother say anything to you? Does she have anyone in mind for me? Tell me what she told you. Chun, I'm going to let Mother tell you that herself. But I can assure you this. It'll be someone we know very well, and he's not going to be an ordinary man. I'm sure he'll be happy about it. 
How's Achu at the camp? Is she doing well? Yes, she's fine. The Prince of Shang sent her to the Shuli army. Those soldiers are a bunch of useless men. It'll be easy for her to deal with them. She won't have a hard time. The Shuli army? After Liu Ziya's death, who's in charge now? Their captain is Shui Chulang, son of Shulu, the garrison's vice commander. I've heard that he's treating them very poorly. A former officer of the Shuli army called He Xiao is serving as his lieutenant. He is the core of the unit. Let's go and visit Achu. Mm. What are you looking at? Nothing. Waiting for someone? I always thought you had a heart of stone. I never expected you to become as soft as a flower. I'm already full. Excuse me. <sighs> Don't be so sensitive. Act like a general. You're royalty and a noble. But then you keep gossiping. Act like a prince. Princes are humans too. They too desire true love. To be honest, she's a good girl. She has the courage and desire. And she's very smart. She can defeat a man in combat. A rare breed. But her affection is for another man. She won't fall for you. When Yan Shun was at the execution square, everything was taken from him. A girl like her, helping him and living with him, imprisoned for three whole years, in isolation, them against the world. How can you compete with that? What use are flowers? If you can't even hold them in your hands. I can still look at them. Just look at them. As they blossom in someone else's yard, you're content with that? Yun Ye, you're from a noble family. There's no need to degrade yourself for someone like her. Am I degrading myself? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm already full. I'll go. came to see you and check how life is at the camp. Aren't you happy to see me? I've sent you messages. Didn't you receive them? Reports from messengers are not enough. I want to see it with my own eyes. Are you sleeping well? How is the food here? Is anyone bullying you? Bullying me? I never get bullied. They're lucky that I don't bully them. <laughs> Seems like you're in good spirits. What is it? Is it for me? Face powder? I never use this. Come on, all girls like to wear makeup once in a while. Also, this isn't a powder, it's congealed fat. It's getting cold, your hands and feet may feel cold. If you put this on, it'll provide some protection. <laughs> all right, all right. So you'll I'll take rub it, it on myself. the boat to be accurate. Open the boat to be stable. Keep your arms balanced. Maintain a stable stance. Shooting is decisive. Don't aim twice and don't ever hesitate. Keep your back straight and use steady force. Your draw determines your accuracy. Let me demonstrate for you. Shot those arrows. Well, I did. Close to 
how good you are, General. I know that. Where's Hoshao? Uh, he's at the Ministry of War. Today's payday. Your boats are old ones. They're all worn out. You should send someone to pick up new ones. I'll write the order. Yes, sir! Send her. To Master Chu, come on, hurry! Yes, come on. Go, go! <laughs> come on, let's go! You said you'd write the order. You'd better get started. I'd need ink, wouldn't I? You... I remember last time at Greenhill Court. You said, it will be the last time you'll serve me. It's such a nice coincidence. It's only been a few days, and now we meet again. What now? I'm too tired to do it. Are you getting used to army life? It's none of your business. Is this how you speak to your superiors? <laughs> a superior should talk like a superior. They shouldn't do what you do and make their soldiers grind their ink. You really haven't been in the army. Officers can make your life miserable if they want to. Grinding ink's nothing. <sighs> Get started. You can write a book with this. All right. Shui Chulong is the son of Shui Lu, the vice commander of the city garrison. If you can avoid, you shouldn't annoy him. There are many inconveniences for a girl in an army camp. If I get the chance, I'll deploy you somewhere else. So keep a low profile. Don't always try to do great things for Yanshan. You are aware, this camp is my territory. Nothing you do in here can escape my attention. Why did you help me? What do you mean? It's no coincidence that I was sent to the Shuli army. You're smart. <laughs> Would I still be alive if I were stupid? Since you're so smart, stay out of people's affairs. I already helped you once by handing Wei Guang to the Emperor, remember? I won't do that again. Your master is too ambitious. I'm afraid you might get hurt. So we just sit and wait for death? Of course not, but there are many ways to reach your goal. The facts of the past won't change. If we step forward, there may be a way out. If we just stay in place and wait, we'll slowly die, falling into the abyss. Maybe even if you move forward, I won't let you get what you want. We wouldn't know unless we try. Listen to me. Don't be stubborn. I'm not stubborn. I'm determined. Your Highness. Auntie Wenshan. Mother asked for me? Yes, Your Highness. Go there as quickly as possible. Your mother's guest has arrived waiting for you to have dinner together. Who else did she invite? Have you forgotten? Didn't your mother said that she will find you an appropriate husband? All right, hurry now. You and you? Your Highness. Mother. What is he doing here? I invited him, of course. Come and sit down. But mother, I'm not hungry. Help yourselves. Please excuse me. Come back. Don't act like a brat. Besides, all of these dishes are your favorites. But the people I share them with matter too. My lady, I'm needed elsewhere. Please excuse me. Both of you, sit down. Is it so hard to dine with me? My lady.
should try this chrysanthemum wine. In a few days, it'll be the Double Ninth Festival. This jar of wine was given to me by the Emperor of Liang. It's made from the ground and dried sprouts of white chrysanthemum. Can you taste the freshness of this? It's very good. I don't care. <sighs> the Emperor of Liang is quite interesting. He sent a poem together with the wine. Baskets we carried to pick chrysanthemum sweet, but the fresh morning dew moistened our sleeves. <gasps> for you. Thank you, Your Highness. <gasps> I'm sorry. That was all my fault. It seems that toast was not meant to be made. What a terrible shame. A terrible headache. You two can help yourselves. Goodbye, my lady. Goodbye, mother. Get some rest. You should thank me for getting you out of this. Hey, let me make it clear. There's no way I'll fall for you. Thank you. What's that attitude? Just because I said I'd never fall for you means that you should not try to hide your happiness about it. What should I say then? I'm in pain. I'm crushed. I can't win the heart of the beautiful princess. What a terrible pity that is. It is a pity. <laughs> Iceman, I just realized that you can be a little bit cute. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to walk me out, your highness. I'm in a good mood today. It won't hurt to walk with you. Seeing as you don't want to have anything to do with me, then you shouldn't do anything that is going to mislead your mother. Thus, you shouldn't use me as an excuse to sneak out of the palace. What if your mother thinks that we get along well and asks the Emperor to grant us marriage? Wouldn't that be troublesome? You're a sly fox. It seems that nothing escapes you. All right, all right. You can leave. I don't need to walk you out of the palace. Your 
back. How is it? Did you see Chen? How did you know? I didn't. You and the concert planned together for me to marry Chun, right? Yes. It was me. Stop doing this. Why not? Don't you like Chun? She's smart and generous and of noble birth. Why don't you like her? There's no why. She's too good for me. It's Chu Chao, isn't it? You and Ye, let's pretend that Chu Chao does like you. Even if she marries you, don't you care about your status? You're the son of the great general and the son of the Yuan clan. How can your family allow you to marry a woman who's a former slave? What is it to you? Even if you can persuade your father, won't you think about where she came from? She lived in the younger courtyard with Yan Shun for more than three years. What was bound to happen already has. It's so degrading to act like this for such a woman. Yu and Ye. Let me make myself clear. Yan Shun must die. We'll never let him leave Chang'an alive. The people who have stayed with him will not end up any better. When the Emperor wanted to kill the Marquis, you were the only one of the officials who opposed him. Things have changed now. Marquis Dingbei was a key governor. Father wanted him dead out of suspicion. Of course I couldn't agree. But look at Yan Shun. His heart is overflowing with hatred. He's obviously longing for revenge. Letting him go back is like releasing the tiger back into his forest. The war will begin soon. The north will collapse. As a prince and general, I can't let that happen. You and you. Don't forget who you are now. almost three years, and we don't have much time left. So you must plan for every possible situation. The most unlikely events pose the greatest danger. That's why we need to be ready for anything. We have deployed people along Chuchu Street, and in the ministries too. It should be difficult to stop us. If we can't get out of the palace, all these arrangements, they will mean absolutely nothing. We'll have to create chaos to get out. When we leave, we'll stir up chaos in the city to distract the guards by the gates. After that, it'll be our chance to leave in disguise. That seems to be the only way. The Emperor ordered me to receive the Prince of Liang. You should all get ready to come with me. Your Highness, this won't be an easy job. I've heard that this prince won't even touch anything that has passed through the hands of other men. He's always been this way. In order to raise this weirdo, his poor father has had to make special arrangements. Even his rice, vegetables, and fruits are grown in fertile soil in the palace backyard. Young girls are made to tend to the fields. Only then is he willing to eat them. The trip from Chiangkang to Chang'an takes a month on a fast horse, and two months by carriage. But this prince spent four months preparing before he set off, and until now, he hasn't showed up. Those must be rumors, right? He's a prince, after all. It can't be that bad, right? <laughs> There's an even more outrageous story. The Prince of Wei, such as your highness, 
has an experience guarding the border with the army. They've seen grasslands, barren lands, rivers, mountains, and everything. But this prince won't even cross a stream until someone has built a bridge over it. He refuses to enter places with more than 50 kilometers between towns. <sighs> Your Highness, he is really something else. He's a very difficult person. Your Highness, report from the relay station. The prince caught a cold after his quilt fell off. He's on his way back. Unbelievable! This tortoise prince! Forget it. Since he's quite close to getting here, we should go meet him. He... he... he refuses to see His Royal Highness. He said you just returned from the front line, and death still follows you. He said it will make his condition worse. And he had his maids pass on this message to me in his place. That little brat! He won't even talk to us man to man! What should we do then? She's not much prettier than me. Of course, compared to Miss E, Miss Four, Miss Jing, she's not much to look at. <laughs> the princess, the way you put it, it sounds to him like we must have met with a true beauty. Tell the men to go. The woman can stay. The prince will have a word with her. Did you hear what Miss Fu said? The men can go. The woman must stay. Don't you hear what I'm saying? You idiots. See no badge on your waist. You're not from a noble family. A peasant girl like you is lucky to even get this treatment. The four of you should leave. What gives you the right, little girl? <laughs> you better watch your mouth. <laughs> so what if I hit that man? He's a common soldier. <laughs> You're such a cold-blooded girl. Chu Chao, what did you do? Uh, Prince, your highness. Let's pray you help right, Prince. Uh, uh, your highness, I fail my duties. My apologies. Of your mind you hurt the prince how dare you she made a mistake this time prince of shang you should punish her severely your highness she trapped the prince and offended him are you done talking yet <gasps> then you can get out of my face <laughs> you how could you don't be impolite to the prince you shouldn't allow this incident to pass i'll send a messenger to chang'an to inquire about this and as for this girl if you refuse to hand her over, then there's not much we can do. I suppose you can keep her in the meantime. We'll just come back for her. All right, Prince, Prince, Prince watch Prince your steps. Please be here. We're here to help you. Stay close to the Prince. 
If anything goes wrong again, you will be punished. Yes. Now go back. Yes. Your Highness, I know that I made a big mistake. I deserve punishment. I know that it was a terrible mistake, and I can't change that. But I take all the blame for it. It shouldn't affect the rest of you. Very good job. Well done. Well done indeed. <laughs> Xiao Chu should have been given this lesson a long time ago. So what if he's a prince? He's a sissy. He always wears red and green. He disgusts me. He's so picky. He should have been killed. Listen, girl. Nice work. If someone wants to hurt you, they'll need to go through me first. Your Highness, I may have meant no harm. But I did hit the Prince of Liang who came to bring peace between our countries. No matter how awful he is, I should still apologize to him. Did you see you hit him? Where exactly? Why didn't I see it? Did you see her hit him? No. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> However, you really are quite careless. If you wanted to hit him, you should have done it somewhere no one could see you. Yes. We had everything planned. Once the prince set off, we would find a quiet place, cover his head with a linen bag, and beat him. We didn't expect that you'd get to him before us. Actually, we were already in the area. We just hadn't shown ourselves yet. <laughs> Don't you worry. You are one of my people now, and you did it to protect your men. So I won't make you suffer for this. Pass down my order. No one is allowed to leave the camp today. If anyone leaks this incident, I will show him no mercy. Yes. Brother. Oh, that guy is pure torture. <sighs> that Xiao Chu's really pissing me off. I'm a prince too, after all. What makes him think he's better? I had the worst experience. In the middle of the night, he said it was stuffy and he felt uncomfortable, so... I did everything I could to let fresh air into the room. But what do you think he said once the air started flowing? He said the fresh air was making him cold! <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> then when he woke up, he said the maids were too ugly. I said, fine, you like pretty maids, so I, I found beautiful maids for him. But then he complained that they didn't write good poems. He was picky about every meal, and his tea leaf had to be less than three days old. Do you know what the best part was? He said the guards disturbed him because they didn't wear cotton cushions under their shoes. Really? All kinds of impossible demands. Did he tell you that Chucho hit him in the face? <laughs> Archu really hit him? <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, so that's why he had a big black eye. Very good. Serves him right. <laughs> he really didn't mention anything about it to you? Not a single word. Huh. If I were him, I wouldn't say it either. A full-grown man being badly beaten by a girl. He probably feels ashamed. <laughs> I thought he used his image as a strategy to fool others. Turns out that he really is a pervert. It's just outrageous. Brother? Do you smell that? Smell what? The scent of a pervert. He's back? Yes, he is.
What do you think? Smells nice, right? <laughs> do you like my clothes? It is quite upscale, don't you think? <laughs> Impressive. Huh? Isn't she here yet? Did you not tell her to come? Uh, she's on her way. She's almost here. <laughs> Greetings, Your Highness. You're very strong. It's me. Don't you remember? Prince, you? Stop it. Let go of him. Don't you know what place this is? Don't yell at her, huh? Don't you know who she is? This woman is my personal guard. Prince. Do you like to be treated like that? Oh, I'm very satisfied with her. Hey, girl. What's your name? Um, why not serve as my personal guard? Is there something wrong with him? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> and this guy is the actual prince of Lian? Just be patient, will you? I'm not thinking about him. I'm worried that Machu might suffer with him. <laughs> Your Highness. I, Chu Chao, have offended you. I'm so sorry. Don't judge me too harshly. I'm just a soldier. So, your name is Chu Chao. How about I just call you Chao? Or how about Xiao Chao? I'm of low status, and my name isn't worthy of your... How do you feel about Chao Chao? That way it feels like we're very close. Your Highness. What is it that you want? You can tell me. Who are your family members? Are your parents still alive? Do you have siblings? Where were you born? How old are you? You know, my birthday is in July, and I just turned 21 years old. It's time for me to get married. Please, Your Highness. If you're only telling me this because I offended you, you should know that it's not necessary. I'm willing to accept any punishment. Oh, right. So where are you from? You're such a pretty girl, and your skin is perfect. You don't look like a way woman. You look like you could be from Liang. Your Highness, please. Uh, Can we talk about something else? You're angry. You're cute when you're angry. I have such good taste in women. <laughs> your Highness, uh, tell me, what do you see in me? All of you. I like everything about you. Or rather, what do you want from me? If you want to kill me, you can just make an excuse. I'm just an unimportant archery drill master. I'm of little value to you. Chao Chao. I fell in love with you at first sight. It hurts me so much when you think of me that way. <sighs> Chow. My hands are cold. Can you warm them for me? Still managed to fly out of it. Impressive. 
Thought you was awesome. <laughs> Let's go. Chow Chow. That's so cold blooded of you. You can't treat the one you protected this way. Please keep your distance and mind your manners. Chow Chow. Help me put on this medicine. It's for your own good. Just think about it. If people find out that I'm hurt, you'll be implicated. This medicine is very effective against swelling. So help me put it on. Hmm? Are you serious? You want me to apply this on you? Shit. 